Welcome to my channel, y'all. I'm going on day two for grounding, earthing in my hometown in Galveston, Texas. Oh. See no vehicles beyond this point, but I am walking, y'all. We have the lifeguards here. It look like there are a lot of snow cone people to come. Here's the pier. Okay, y'all. Earth then begins with taking off your shoes and your socks. Start off with the feet the Most High gave you. No matter what they look like, it's not the point. You are earthing. My feet is touching the ground. And it's optimum for the soles of your feet to be touching the ground for the most part. But as long as your body is touching the ground, it's all good, y'all lotus position or whatever is still good so i'm sitting in a kind of like a lotus position best i can do anyway y'all and then hands touching the earth as well i'll go for a little short walk before i leave for the people who like to see how the ocean looks not in this part, y'all, because you're not supposed to be swimming here, but you can sit here and meditate. But I will walk a little bit further on the beach after I get done with my beginning earthing. I'll walk in the water's edge for just a little bit. But I hope y'all have started earthing with me. <laughs> if you have not subscribed, please do, y'all like share give me a thumbs up hit that notification bell so you'll know when i upload the next video i don't know what's that out in the ocean y'all look like some kind of a ship it's kind of moving fast y'all so i don't know what it is maybe somebody's fancy yacht who knows but the water looks beautiful from here right just on a a zoom so, enjoy y'all. I love it when the birds just fly to the camera. Let me see if I can let y'all see some more of our birds. And these are seagulls, so I won't have to get into any debate with anybody about the bird's name. But <laughs> it matters to me. And y'all, if you don't like people laughing, you won't like my stuff because I laugh as much as possible. Laughing is good medicine, y'all. And it's free. It's good for the soul. It's good for the spirit to laugh. And it's free. It doesn't cost anything to laugh. So, if you're not relaxed enough to enjoy laughter from another human being, Y'all, I don't know what else to say, but bless your, bless your heart. Look at that fancy building again. Oh, wow.
riding around on sand doing things. Look at the birds. <laughs> they entertain the men. y'all came right into my lens and stand for a while. And the movie star. I like the rocks because I like the way the water hit the rocks. I'm not going too fast for y'all. He didn't like that kind of bird some kind of way. They look the same to me, but I guess bird of a feather flock together and to them it wasn't the same kind of bird. But I'm going to go walking some now. Well, y'all, I got up to do my little walk. Got the camera facing me so people won't think I'm trying to record them. So anyway... At least the people are wearing, using leashes for their animals now. That's good. 
used to be people would not have them on it. So a leash law, and they're doing it. So I'm glad of that. I'm not afraid of my dogs, but I don't really know other people's dogs. In Africa, it's not the same thing because they dogs over there are kind of cool. They don't bother you unless they're inside of their yard. Then they get territorial. But when they're outside, they really don't. They don't bother people at all. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to walk into the beach. Look at the birds behind me, y'all, if you can see them. There they go. <laughs> I'm in the water with them now, y'all. I'm going to turn this camera around so y'all can actually see the water. I'm going to put these shoes down for a minute. Y'all, I just can't get enough of looking at these birds when I'm not real close on them. But anyway, let y'all see the water. People want to know what the water looks like, y'all. It's clear. It's actually very clear. It's not the Caribbean, but you can see my hand through it. Look at that. Perfect grounding with your hand touching the water and the sand. That's grounding. Or earthing, whatever you want to call it. You're releasing the charges from your body, becoming negative with Mother Earth. This is day two of it, y'all. I don't even think I'm gonna leave my shoes or this thing. You might think my shoes is food. And I am not interested in having to have a fist fight with a bird to get my shoes back. Sometimes these birds are gangsters, y'all. You just have to take my word for it. My son went missing to me one day and he had to fight these birds over food that he gave one. And they went and told their friends and it came back and was mad at him because it wasn't any more of uh, the sandwich left. I think it was a jack-in-the-box that was uh, like hanging over the, the beach. It had like a little pier. He knows now. But this is crystal clear water today, y'all. I don't know what y'all can see it on the camera. You never know what it's gonna show. But you can see the sand so you know the water is crystal clear today. And when you ask me in the comment stuff, like how did the water look, I appreciate that. Cause that'll make my video better for the next time for you. Cause I can let y'all see the water the best I can. Even the bird is enjoying the water. Look at that. <laughs> what a wonderful way to Go home, I do have people, but I'm not really going by the people. I'm just enjoying being in the water myself. And you turning around, this is what I'm seeing, y'all. Because I'm just holding the camera with my little tripod. So I'm not going to go too far. See, kind of far from the... Uh, pleasure pier but you can still see it in the distance yeah we just earth you see my feet in the water y'all this is 
what y'all could be doing wherever y'all are in the world. <laughs> but you see how clear the water is? And you can see my feet. Because I'm standing in the water, y'all. You can have some solitude if you want. You don't have to really be around the crowd. You can see them, but you can have your own little spot. I can see that ship out there. I don't know what kind of ship it is, y'all. I'm just saying that. See some of the birds flying about. And the beautiful rocks over there. Try to get you to be able to see some of the rocks because today I'm not climbing on those rocks, y'all. I'm feeling better, but I still have like pulling in my leg, my left leg. Not pain, but I can feel the pulling. And then y'all see the, my little bird friends. and the waves going away from me. It's beautiful today. And here I'm walking back to the shore. Hope you can see this water. I'm just trying to let y'all see what it looks like while I'm going back. See how crystal clear it is that you can see the bottom. Look at that. Somebody wrote in the sand, y'all. one of those beautiful buildings over there too y'all I'm gonna sit down a little bit I 
I'm back to my grounding. Uh, well, out of the water. You can see my feet touching the ground, y'all. And I just rolled up my pants. That's all I did. Because the more area touching the ground, the better. If you was rich and had one of these yards where you could be nude, one of the ladies on the video said her doctor told her to be nude on the grass, but I don't have a yard like that, y'all. They be calling the city for me and decent exposure. But anyway, I am sitting on the beach with clothes on. Just got my pants rolled up so I can feel more of the earth on my leg. And you see the sand over there that has like top sand. <clears throat> I'm sitting on the sand that water was on. So it has moisture still in it better for grounding and back is cooler too that other one still that's holding the heat from the sun so this is much better for me and I'm enjoying it y'all I don't be knowing if these birds be coming by me for what reason I do not know I don't really like to be around them that close I like to record them but I don't want them all close to me thinking I'm going to feed them because I'm not here to do that. So that one didn't like the camera, so that's good. You might think it's like a little gun or something. I'm glad. Let them stay in his own lane. Stay in your own lane, bird. Stay in your own lane. And I'll stay in mine. But anyway, I'm enjoying my earth then. <coughs> I'm sitting down more in a little cross-legged position it's not lotus but it's good where I can feel the sand underneath my body and I'm on and off and touching the ground because what I'm holding the camera talking to you guys <laughs> these birds are mess y'all but I'm doing good for somebody who has a minimal bird phobia when I was younger there was Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, which was a horrible movie for children to see. And I went and saw it too many times. So then I had a bird phobia. But now that I'm an adult, I can control it. I just don't feed the birds. Don't be around people that feed the birds. So that's why I'm trying to stay away from the people. Cause lots of times people do feed birds and then they come swarming around and then I would have a bird phobia where I have to be moving and going on so much so I'm much better than I was what they say fear false evidence appearance real I know they're just afraid of me as I am of them I'm bigger than them after all and anyways I do enjoy watching them fly about. <laughs> I'll be just trying to make sure they don't be landing on me. <laughs> when I was listening to the video last night on earthing or grounding, they were saying that we was uh, electric. I just Hold wanted y'all to see these birds. But anyway, body electric. And so... Even though we're body electric, that's why we have to discharge some of that electricity that's in our body. So that's what I'm doing out here on this beach. And I'm trying to watch them while they're watching me. Like I, when, I, when you look at them, then they be like, uh, what you looking at? <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying, we're electrical beings, you know? So we are exposed to all of these instruments, like the phone that I'm holding. I'm holding it though with one of those little tripod things, so it's better for me than holding it directly in my hand. 
And when I sleep, I'll know not to sleep with the phone in my hand, in my hand or laying it on top of my body because it's not a good thing to do when you do that. I was trying to let y'all see the, the birds that's not close to me. I'm just using my zoom. And anyways, so anyway, with us being body electric, when you touch door handles and stuff like that in the winter time, you know how you get a little shock? You be like, oh! <laughs> That's because our body is discharging that electricity that's in us. And here we are walking around without, you know, walking around with shoes on. So we are not grounded. The more we use our minds to remind us, take off your shoes, <laughs> the better off we'll be. As I found out watching the, the earthen movie or grounded movie that walking around barefooted on the ground, whether it's grass, dirt, sand, or even cement, that it's okay, y'all. It's all good. And it doesn't cost you anything. They have other things that you can get so you could be grounded when you sleep as well. But right now, y'all, my money ain't like that, so I'm doing all the free stuff. <laughs> I ordered some earthing shoes, but they'll be here sometime in July. It's a waiting list, I guess. So anyway, once I get those shoes, then when I'm at the airport or whatever, I'll still be grounded, you know? when I'm in the plane or whatever, as much as I can be. But anyway, y'all, life is good. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can see the plane, as they say, the plane, the plane. But I have it where I'm pointing it at the sky. But I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all. when I'm playing it back. Cause the light reflects so much of stuff, y'all. I don't know until after I play it back. If I get some of the stuff or not. But anyways. I'm glad that I spent this time on the beach with you guys, earthing, grounding. <laughs> it is so relaxing, y'all. See, you don't have to go anywhere. You can just enjoy wherever it is you are in the world. There's beauty everywhere. There's beauty everywhere. It's just whatever you focus on is what you see. Whether it's in your backyard, in your front yard, on the beach. Yep. You'll see what you're searching for. They say, seek and you shall find it. I believe that, y'all. The only thing I haven't gotten yet by visualization or manifesting is winning a lottery <laughs> or getting people to donate to our GoFundMe. <laughs> yeah, guys. We have a GoFundMe for the Habasa Food Forest Project. We want to build our first roundhouse on the on the land. It's going to be a, a earth brick roundhouse. A duplex. One side will be for the land manager slash security and our office. And then the other side will be for volunteers to stay or me when I'm there. Because y'all, I can't keep going to the Airbnbs because I got to pay them back, y'all, when I get back. So 
I'd much rather be on the land and record sunrises and sunsets for all of you guys. Show you me grounding. We're going to have a meditation prayer walk. We'll have an area there with a mandala painted on the wall where people can use their prayer rugs or meditation mats or simply walk the trail grounded shoes optional because maybe you have grounding shoes but if you don't have grounding shoes y'all it's still freedom of choice but if you do grounding we'll have little cubicles where you can put your shoes maybe we'll have somebody there that can have a number where when you come back you can pick up your shoes give them a little donation y'all because we gotta pay for that you know we don't need people to have to volunteer to watch your shoes they should be getting paid <laughs> to be there with your shoes and y'all can you imagine somebody going through the path during the day and taking pictures or live video so people can see the footprints in the sand changing all during the day because when the day first starts it'll be a fresh you know raked out swept out with those bamboo brooms and rakes just like those little small uh sand garden kits you know but I've never seen people do it on a big scale but it'll be like maximum impact sand garden or dirt garden it'll be so beautiful I've imagined it already y'all and when you walking through you'll be able to see really see our food forest in bloom and every time you come it'll be a different view because flowers look different every day trees look different every day they they just bloom different every day y'all sometimes the flowers drop and sometimes they just look different y'all i can imagine it right now but anyway, I'm not going to hold y'all up forever. But I know the people who love the beach and love the view will love hanging out with me at the beach. You see? Look at that. Got my feet on the sand there. You see? I'm making contact. Either my foot or my leg is making contact. My hand at times is making contact. It's nice, y'all. I'm sure I'll sleep better tonight. I slept better last night. I did not sleep with an ice pack. I don't remember if I used it or not. I, maybe I did for a little while. And I did use my little cooler fox thing for my head for a little while. And then I cut it off when I went and slept in the chair. Y'all, I took pictures at the doctor's office. And when I'm in the motherland, I'm going to get them to make me some wooden boxes so I could store inside of them and sleep on top of it. That'll be so nice. That'll be so nice. Make it bigger than a twin, but smaller than a double bed. Now I can stretch out and not fall off. I need something hard to sleep on y'all and just a little small cushion that's all because the bigger the cushion I think it throws your spine out of alignment I'm gonna start thinking of my body as a car <laughs> no more thick mattresses that's soft throwing my body out of alignment because in the long run it's bad I get up and I hurt I'd rather not have pain. 
is the absence of pain pleasure. That's what I, I think about sometimes. And I think the older I get, the more the answer is yes. <laughs> the absence of pain is pleasure. Now you can take that any way you can. Can you imagine how some people that have problems may actually think that way on many different levels, you know? Like they say, it was pain before pleasure with Rick James, you know? <laughs> so maybe that's the kind of stuff he was talking about. I don't know. But I don't need nobody to give me no pain at 70. Your body gives you pain without any help from anybody. Ah, oh, those birds are so pretty, y'all. But let me see. This is on the iPhone, y'all, so I can't guarantee that anything I'm seeing is going to come out for y'all to see. And all I can say is, oh well, you are welcome to come to Galveston at any time so you can see it up close and personal for yourself. Because I wish I could just package it up so you could see it. And I don't have one of those 360 cameras or nothing, so. I'm giving you the best that I can. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed being at my beach <laughs> and seeing all of the beautiful things out here the beautiful water that was crystal clear today i have such wonderful <sighs> fresh breeze my car is parked at the two hour free parking spot so it's all good, y'all. But I'm going to let y'all go. I hope y'all started doing grounding or earthing. Let me know down in the comments if you've done the earthing with me. I'd like to know. And don't forget, y'all, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. When I get to 2,000 subscribers, y'all, I am going to do a live and I'm going to talk about grounding and being grounded and what it means to you, 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 and you, as well as permaculture economics. Yes, permaculture economics. Look it up online so y'all can call in. I'll leave the link where y'all can come in and talk about it and say how y'all feel about it if it's something that y'all would participate in if y'all had the opportunity till next time y'all peace peace power to the people and i'm out y'all bye and guys in case i didn't say i'm gonna leave a link down below as well as in the comments for you guys who want to donate to the Habasia Food Forest Project. We need your help. Yes, we do. A dollar or two, a pound or two, or whatever is your currency. <laughs> Nara, whatever, whatever PayPal will take, or the GoFundMe account will take. Please, do your widow's might best. Or if you got more than the widow's might, show some sign, y'all. Because we need y'all's help. Honestly, we do. So we can empower our people to self-sufficiency through permaculture economics, not charity.